Hi everybody and welcome back to Cook and Share. Today we're in our new location and filming from our new set here in the Philippines. And we have a special guest with us, Chef Mary Gale. Welcome Chef Mary Gale and Hi. thanks for coming to Cook and Share. What are we cooking up today? We're making chocolate mousse. Chocolate mousse, one of my all-time favorites. Okay Chef, how do we get started here? Combine natin ang chocolate and corn. Okay, so first we combine add the chocolate, yeah. Butter. And the butter. What we're using here is a Dutch choco bar, but you can use chocolate chips or your favorite type of chocolate. Now what we have here is a homemade double broiler, and what we've done is just taken a pot and we have water in a soft boil, and we're going to take a bowl and place it over the top. Now using a whisk, we're just going to mix this constantly until it becomes nice and liquidy. Of course, if you have a double boiler, by all means use it. Until it reaches a consistency just about like this. Now this is perfect. Now what Chef Marigale is going to do, she's going to transfer the butter and chocolate mixture into a separate bowl. Okay, the next step is to add in the all-purpose cream. Is that right? Yes, Chef Dave. Okay. Gonna give this a whisk together until it's well combined. All right. So what's the next step? Talagay natin ang egg whites sa bowl. Okay. Now she's gonna add the egg whites to a bowl. What she's doing here is whisking this continuously just for a few minutes. Now it's important not to stop because you're gonna get air bubbles you don't really want. Now I'm just going to give her a hand here just because she doesn't want to stop whisking by simply adding in the sugar as she whisks. And we're almost finished now. This is just about a perfect consistency just like this. Then we're going to add the chocolate mixture into the meringue. And we'll give this a quick stir. Now the chocolate mixture is done. What do we do next? We dissolve natin ang gelatin powder sa counting tubig. She's going to dissolve the gelatin powder in the water. And it's really important to use unflavored gelatin powder. Otherwise, it's going to throw off the taste of your chocolate. Then we're going to add the dissolved gelatin mixture into the chocolate mix. And give this a whisk until it's well combined. It should be rich and creamy, just about to the texture of a soft ice cream. So what we're going to do is take our chocolate mousse mixture and we're going to add it to a glass. In this case, we're using a cocktail glass, but you know, you can use your favorite decorative glass. So what we're going to do is set this aside in the fridge until it sets. So we'll see it in a little bit and show you what it looks like. So after 30 minutes, our chocolate mousse is nicely set. To decorate it, we're going to place a cherry on top. This is perfect for Valentine's to share with the one you love. Okay, Chef Marigale, it's time for the taste test. What do you think, Chef Dave? It is delicious. It's airy, melt in your mouth, the perfect consistency. You're going to love this. Thanks so much for joining us, Chef Marigale. I hope you'll come back again. Sure, I will. Good. Head on over to cookandshare.com for more easy recipes. And remember to click to subscribe and like our videos. Happy Valentine's Day. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.